Mr. Dayton Finley here today, and we're gonna interview, and we're gonna interview the nice and gentle Javier during the night. Hello. Okay, first question we got. Everybody wants to know, how does it feel being 19 in high school? It feels great. There's a lot of bunch of young women out here looking for love. <laughs> Busted. As you can see, Javier Jordan is a raw person. <laughs> he's just raw. He's not filtered. Javier, uh, can, can you, you make it cancel? Will you make, make it cancel? stand up for this, please? Okay. Today was uh, Adam Sandler day, but today was just another normal day for Javier. You can sit down now. Uh, the pedal slides. Thank you. All right, uh, Javier, tell me about the, the story that happened at the gas station where you paid $60. You know, something happened. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, online, you know. Uh, I I met this one person, and uh, uh, I paid sixty bucks for a scam. She never showed up. I, I, after that, I felt disappointed in myself. Okay. Did you what like that? Time? Yeah. What about the other time that Alyssa didn't show? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa showed up that night. Oh, Alyssa. Pause. Alicia, pause. <laughs> Same with the sixty dollars. What did the sixty dollars include? What package? Oh, what uh, package deal was that? The VIP. The oral. The oral. Package. Just that. Just that. Okay. That's not a bad deal for me. I mean, okay. it might have been good. You never know. But he got scammed. That lady is a menace to society. I don't know if you heard this, but uh, uh, over there by Harry and they have cheap deals over there. Twenty dollars. <laughs> How would you know? We'll hook uh, you up after. We'll hook you up after. Can we can we turn the interview into Albertson? <laughs> no, we have we have brand deals, but um, we got our deal. next one. We're not gonna name names for this um for this um for this subject. We'll just give her a name. Um, Brandy. A Jilly. A Jilly. A Jilly. Her name's Ajili, okay? Okay, okay. Ajili. All right, explain the Ajili, the $600. Um, she mm. gave her $15 to give you some sloppy doggy. Okay. <laughs> He's going to give you the story. This uh, is going to be Ajili. pretty long. Ajili. It's a pretty long story. We'll just start from day one. I, day one. This was uh, around uh, COVID time. Okay. Um, I was working at the gas station, and I get a text from my friend, and she was like, do you have an um, inhaler I can borrow? Uh, inhaler, you mean vape? <laughs> flavored, flavored inhaler. Okay. Flavored inhaler. And I was like, give me some, uh, uh, some brain activities for, uh, for, uh, inhaler. It's an inhaler. That's only reasonable, only reasonable. So, uh, when I got to Gville, in Is my maroon minivan, mm -hmm. I encountered <laughs> a police officer. Really? He, he pulled me over for a traffic violation. I didn't have my blinker on. So, uh, yeah, I had to pay $500 plus the inhaler. Uh, we don't encourage bad driving. We encourage safe driving. Safe driving. Always wear your seatbelt and no drinking. Right. No drinking, please. Okay. Continue. It was the worst sloppy toppy I ever had in my life. Teeth and all. Would not recommend Yelp review one. <laughs> okay, so how how much did it cost and all? What you say? I, gas, I, I say ticket. I say six hundred. Five hundred. Six hundred dollars for some head. This is why we ask you gentlemen to first relieve yourself before making irrational decisions. Please, please be safe. Young men like Javier, he's doing these mistakes for us, so we know what not to do. Mm -hmm. yes. He's nineteen years of age. He's paving the way. He's carving the way. Car. He's a first generation Duranona. Wait, aren't you dating like a hey, uh, 16 year old? Hey, audience, right. quiet, She's please. 18. <laughs> She's 17. She's 18. She's 17. Right. Um, makeup of his family. They have a very unique family uh, dynamic. Um, just give us one one weird story about you and your brothers. Uh, one time, uh, me and Brian, when we were little, we uh, we had this bicycle pump. Nothing need to say after that because uh, y'all are your major predictions about what I did with that bicycle pump that night. Uh, you can express yourself. I, I express myself too much. <laughs> I, guess, I guess you could say we're, we were airheads that day. <laughs> Mr. Dornado, do you regret that memory? or I have, I have fond memories of my childhood, actually. You do. You fun? It was, it was fun. Do you have it, Mr. Dornado? Do you remember the first time we met? Uh, my wiener was out. <laughs> okay. 
Explain yeah. the interactions. Explain yeah. the interactions. Explain what happened in, I, in your personal uh, in your POV. P- yeah. P- 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 I opened the door to to say hi to Albert. <laughs> my brother Brian comes behind me, pulls down my shorts. Wiener comes down. Was that the last time Albert seen my penis? No. <laughs> what did he do? It was not. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Sorry, yesterday. <laughs> what? I just want to know when was the first time that you first laid your hands on a young male boy? Uh, the first time? <sighs> I think it was uh, around the same time I came to Valley View. Poor boy, his name was Bryce. <laughs> Bryce Robinson, and I know you're out there somewhere. Pause, I would like to tell you that this young man turned out to have a very startled life. Mm-hmm. Um, he took the path of, let's say, um, actually, he's, he's on the, maybe he's doing, he's doing very well, he's doing right now. well now after his traumatizing experience. I just hope the best for Bryce. Um, Bryce is a fellow uh, Please comment, know. hashtag victim, hashtag. Um, please uh, help me, please help help put hashtag. this man in the penitentiary. Penitentiary, <laughs> yes. As to continue with the interview, okay? okay. Three. We have another, uh, he has another thing. To Audience, talk about. please quiet on the set. It's hard working out here. We're on a low budget right now. We spent all the money on OnlyFans, I'm sorry. Hey, can y'all keep it down real quick? I have fans. I don't mind you. We're going to talk about the situation of the McChicken. I heard this story yesterday for the first time. No, no, the, the actual McChicken, though. This is the actual McChicken part. Oh, but she wanted to share the Michigan for this young man's penis. <laughs> explain it. Uh, explain. It. I think. I think. I don't. I don't want to talk about the subject anymore. Okay. It's a little personal. He's done with it. He's been traumatized. Let's I mean, do you feel that. horrified by that moment? Yes. Do you think about I, it? I, the best part of that experience was the chicken nugget. The chicken, chicken nugget. Mixed chicken. Um, I know y'all know these stories. Have you? Who was Godzilla? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. Alright, let's start. Godzilla? From let's the start. beginning? Start from the beginning, please. Uh, Rate that movie. Oh, I, I didn't really watch the movie, actually. <laughs> Explain what happened in the movie. Uh, but you did. were there that day, right? <laughs> I was in the theaters. I did buy the ticket. Did you buy it? Did you S- buy, oh, you bought the Seat 3A, right? We have the ticket proof. <laughs> what? <laughs> what were you doing in the movie if you weren't watching a movie? What possibly could you be doing? Uh, uh. The finger action. I was playing. It was quite dark in there, right? I was playing uh, the stick game with my friend. Okay. Uh, and when you uh, say a wall, which would be like, what you, you bricked up? At the um, I, I I think uh, Shut up. it's up to opinion how uh, bricked I was. I mean, I want to ask a question about a controversial video that was spread all throughout the school. What the hell? What are you okay. talking about? Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll about, pull up the video. About Javier. Oh, no. pull, I'll pull up the video. Mm. No, yes. not that video. Pull evidence. Uh, you were very, in this video, you were very bricked up. And, mo- and most people, at, at first glance, they didn't I'm see... I'm your president. They, they, they didn't... They pause. Didn't, pause. pause. Let's I'm about to give, give the just, audience all right, the... All right, all right. All right. Here's the video. Here's the... He's, he's deep in his hole right now. Right there, guys. Oh, no. Oh, you guys no. see that mountain? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think this is on my phone. <laughs> Javier, how do you feel about these allegations that were put against you because you were bricked up in the t- <laughs> TikTok video? Uh, the age of consent is 17. Uh, that's all I got to say. What was your first action when you saw this video when people were starting to get for you? Uh, told her to uh, delete it. I, I thought it was very funny. I thought I found it very humorous. Uh, I think a bunch of people. Raise your hand if you have, if you found this video very humorous. All right, thank you. Yeah. Uh, raise your hand if you're gay. We have a live audience, so we do the best for y'all guys. We try to give you live feedback um all the time. We do everything in our possible ways to do this um. Uh, everyone in this room is hearing his traumatized experience and we just love these people for opening up and being being like open handed give them a round of applause they're, they're accepting of him we have a very open school we have a very open school very LGBTQ plus we're very accepting we've, we, we've been through a lot <laughs> uh, okay. any other further questions uh-huh. I would like to ask you if you have any other sexual gay, gay sexual experiences uh 
One time uh, back in sophomore year, uh, I accidentally kissed my friend Jay Sasser. On accidentally. The bus. Uh, we were playing that game, the chicken game. Gay chicken? What? No, where you pretend to kiss a little. Let me ex give you an example. No, <laughs> let's not. Next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. I, think, I think that's all the time we have for Mr. Harvey Garner. Right, close it out. Thank you guys for coming in. It's uh, your boy, Skinny Penis Day, Dayton Finlay. Young Rocco right here. Yes, sir. And until next time.